keep a lot of time. Um, so in this first example, it's just basically us to say u plus b. So if we were going to go and graph these, again, these are in component form, right? So we know component form, if you guys remember from last class, we component form is a vector where we have our initial point is at 0, 0, and then our end point is at the, uh, the terminal point here. So therefore, vector v is at negative 1, 1, 2, 3. That's vector v. Oh, I'm sorry, that's vector u. And vector v is at 1, 2, 4. That's vector v. So if all I'm simply going to do is add them, basically what we're doing is we are just kind of sliding u plus v. We're basically just kind of like sliding u over there. So basically what we're doing is um, we are just kind of sliding this vector over. Or you could do the same thing. Or you could also think of v kind of being sliding over this way. But either way, it takes you to the exact same, same point, same vector, which we call our resultant vector. Right, so from that point, you go negative 1, 3. Right. Now, where to, now, again, you don't, need to know, you don't need to do that to algebraically find the answer. I'm just trying to give you guys a geometric thing, because I might also ask you, hey, why don't you graph the vector or graph the addition, right? So in reality, what are we doing? If you guys look at this, if we're adding these two vectors, we're basically combining the first component, and we're combining the second component. So we'd say, here's v1, here's u2, v1, um, v2. So all we're really doing is combining those components. So when we do that, we have negative 1 plus 2 comma 3 plus 4, which equals 1 comma 7. Now let's make sure. Does that kind of look like where we're at? Over 1, up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's pretty good, right? Does everybody kind of see that? So this resultant vector, this blue vector, is 1 comma 7. All right? Now, 